Hey guys, I'm Chanel. Today I'm going to show you how to sew a lace frontal down to a dome cap. And this is the dome cap that I'll be using. So I'm going to first start off by pinning my dome cap to my styrofoam head just to give it more security as I sew down the lace frontal. And this is the lace frontal that I'm going to be using. You do see that the lace is tinted a brown color. I purchased this from bestlacewigs.com and it is the Mongolian kinky um kinky straight hair i do believe is in a uh, length of 16. right now i'm just going to cut along the hairline and trim off that extra lace now this closure did come with um, the dips in the front of the closure so i don't have to worry about it being too straight and too unnatural looking you're just going to cut the lace off from one side to the other once you've done that you want to measure uh, well kind of like place it on your dome cap to see where you want to have the placement for your frontal and I'm gonna lay mine right on the front of the dome cap so we're gonna start by sewing down one side of the dome cap and one thing I'm sorry one side of the lace frontal one thing I did not like about this frontal <clears throat> excuse me is um, it didn't have the protection strip on the side it only had it only had it in the back so I just wish it had it on the side and it'll been a little bit better because sometimes it, the lace is really easy to rip. But anyway, so as you see, I am just sewing down the side of the frontal. And once I complete this side, I'm gonna pull the lace frontal really tight and start to sew down the back portion of it. And you'll see that here in a little bit. Once the back portion of the lace frontal is sewn down, then I'm gonna sew on the opposite side and then we'll basically be completed. So in this video, I'm not gonna show you how to make the entire wig. I do have a video on how to, um, how to make a wig. So if you're interested in that video, I will leave it down in the description box and you can um, check out that video to see how I sew on my bundles to my wig. So this is what I was talking about as far as sewing down the back portion of the frontal and it's the same as the side if you know how to sew hair um, basically you know how to sew your frontal down it's very similar to sewing down a lace closure nothing too different at the end i am going to show how to apply the elastic band to your frontal so it can lay seamless with your um, hairline so it, it doesn't look like it's lifting or anything like that. And it, as you see here, oh my God, I had the craziest time trying to get this dome head or whatever, the styrofoam head to stay in place. I need to get a new stand ASAP because I do not like it falling over. It just constantly kept on doing it. It was making my job hard. Come on, get it together. Anyway. So this is the opposite side of the frontal down that I'm doing. So I've already done the, the left side and now I'm completing the right side. And I also did the back. So when you sew down, just make sure you kind of make like a loop with your thread. It gives you more security. And this is the final look of the lace frontal once it's sewn down. I have not trimmed off the dome cap yet. You're gonna see that in the next clip that I'm gonna trim off the dome cap. And we're gonna move on. So you see how full this hair is? Woo, it's so full and gorgeous. So it's a kinky straight. I have it mixed actually. The back is the Indian kinky straight and then the front is the Mongolian. I'm gonna have a review on this hair coming soon. So please stay tuned if you're interested in the kinky straight hair. So right now I'm just gonna trim off that extra dome cap because you remember in the beginning of the video we did not sew that down. It's still left out and we're gonna now cut it off so we don't see it. The only thing we're seeing is the lace and hopefully if you did it right, it'll look like scap. That's what we're trying to go for. Like it's your hair girl. That's what we want, your hair.
make sure you don't trim off the thread um, if you cut the thread you cutting basically you cutting the um, track and we don't want to do that the track would probably fall out and then it would just be a waste of sewing so we don't want to do that Right now you see me just showing you that I did lay the track. Um, it's pretty much connected to the lace frontal. So right now I'm measuring out how far I want to, or how long I want my elastic band. And I did measure from ear to ear. It measured out to be seven and a half. At first I was just gonna do six and a half, but then I changed it to five because I didn't like how loose it was. I wanted it to be a a little bit tighter so I went ahead and took it down to five inches instead of six and a half so basically you want to measure from one ear to the next and then when you do that you, you subtract two inches from that so if it's seven and a half do five and a half or you know if it's eight and a half do six and a half but yeah I'm just gonna sew the elastic band right on the end of the frontal on both sides we don't want to sew it directly to the dome cap we're going to sew it to the frontal because the whole purpose of this is to you know cause that tension and cause the lace frontal to lay flat we don't want any lifting because if it's lifting girl everybody gonna know you are definitely wearing a frontal I don't know why when I use these dome caps, it's always really loose on my head. I purchased this from Sally's and normally I'll go down to the hair store to purchase. It's like 30 minutes away from my house. I didn't feel like it, so I went to Sally's. So, yep, there we go. That's the elastic band method. It is on there tight. And like I said, I will be having a video on uh, me wearing this wig and doing a review on the hair so if you are wanting to see this video please stay tuned and also like subscribe and i talk to you guys in the next video thanks for watching